And the wind from Sunday's nor'easter led to some pretty serious damage in Hampton. Part of the fishing pier at Buckrow Beach collapsed after a barge got loose and crashed into it. Crews just pulled that barge away a couple of hours ago. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens explains what's next. What brings tons of people to the beach on a chilly fall day? I don't know how in the world they're going to do it. Try an 80 foot long construction barge. And trying to get it off the shores of Buckrow Beach and back out into the Chesapeake Bay was not an easy task. Uh, the, the winds, I mean, you know, water. Commander Dean Horton with the U.S. Coast Guard says the barge broke away during the nor'easter this weekend. It took crews a while to get a line out on it because of the tide. Our first priority uh, is the safety of people. The Coast Guard is looking into what led up to the barge versus pier collision. Officials think the weather played a key role. Horton says the barge belongs to Coastal Design and Construction. I called them and am still waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, it was a sight to see at Buckrow Beach Monday afternoon. Some people came to grab a photo. Others couldn't believe what they saw. This was devastating for us. Kathy Dermanis is the president of the Buckrow Improvement League, a nonprofit and neighborhood organization invested in the Buckrow community. Nothing uh, happens in Buckrow without us knowing about it. She's worried how this might slow up the boardwalk repairs planned at the beach. We're scared. It's long overdue. The boardwalk needs repairs desperately. Structural engineers are looking at the damage to the pier. This one built 10 years ago after Hurricane Isabel destroyed the one that was here. But for now, this one is closed until crews can rebuild. When that'll happen, we don't know. In Hampton, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.